Hi, I'm Carolyn Logue, and I'm here today serving as an interviewer for the Puyallup Sumner Chamber of Commerce. Sitting with me is current representative Hans Zeiger, who is running for the state legislature in the Senate in the 25th District. Hans, thank you for coming today. Thanks, Carolyn. We have a number of questions for you. Uh, kind of, I think you've had a chance to run through them yourself. Um, but I think the first one we're going to do is, what do you think is the most important issue in this race? Well, the, the critical issue that we're going to have to tackle in the 2017 legislative session, and, and what I think is the critical issue in this election, is education funding. And this is something we've been working on in the legislature for the last few years. Uh, we've made significant additional investments to education, but we, we have some remaining problems. And the big one is the inequity of education funding across school districts the inequity of uh, local property tax levies. And so we're gonna have to tackle that, and we're gonna have to, to come up with a resolution that allows us, in my opinion, to equalize um, property tax levies across school districts in a way that allows us to, to ensure that every kid, regardless of where they're from in Washington State, has the same access uh, to a basic education. And we're gonna have to do that in a way that uh, doesn't hurt the economy of Washington State, uh, and that's gonna require a lot of heavy lifting and compromise, but I'm confident we can do that. And what things do you think you can do in the state Senate that will specific, specifically support the business community? Well, I think the first thing is, I think there's an opportunity in the education funding discussion to reform the way we do taxes in Washington. I think we need to make our state's B&O tax structure simpler and fairer. And, uh, and, I, and I think there is a way that we can get bipartisan buy-in to do so. The second thing is, I think we need to raise the cap on... Um, our state's Main Street uh, tax credit so that we can uh, see additional investments in, in places like downtown Puyallup. Uh, that's been beneficial to downtown Puyallup and I think we need to raise the cap to allow more of that. Um, and the uh, third thing is I think we need to improve legislative review of agency regulations. We need to make sure that when there are major regulations uh, coming out of agencies that the legislature has an opportunity to review those before they're finally implemented. Other states do that uh, better than we do it, and I think we need to have that legislative review. Okay. Uh, there's an initiative out there, Initiative 1433. It raises the minimum wage and institutes paid sick leave. Uh, what is your position on that initiative or any legislative sure. opportunities? Or I, I'm opposed to the initiative. Okay. Um, I, I think that there is a discussion to be had within the legislative process, so I, I, I'm not opposed to the conversation, uh, but I'm opposed to the initiative. Um, I do think that, as a general rule, we ought to find those ways to incentivize businesses to do the right things rather than having heavy-handed mandates. And, um, and I think we need to do things that encourage businesses to thrive and hire people. And I, I would worry that something like this initiative would actually uh, discourage people from, from hiring people and giving people that foot in the door to employment. Okay. Um, what tax increase would you support, if any? Well, I, I would go back to what I was saying earlier about tax reform. I, I, would, I would like to focus on changing the way we do taxes in this state. And I think our state's business and occupations tax is unfair. I think that it's overly complex. And there was a good proposal that, I, that was introduced by Representative Drew McEwen uh, from uh, Mason County uh, last year. And that's a proposal that I would support. Uh, NFIB supports that proposal, National Federation of Independent Business. And it's one that would dramatically simplify our state's B&O tax and, uh, and allow for some deductions to encourage economic activity, but would, would represent a tax cut for, the, uh, for about 285,000 small businesses in Washington State, and I think that's the direction we need to go. Okay. Um, any specific jobs that you would look to bring to our community, and how would you do that? Well, I think we need to bring industrial jobs into Pierce County uh, at a higher rate. Uh, we got the funding last year to complete Highway 167, and that was a big victory, and, and we'll make sure that that project stays on track. We also need to get money to complete the Cross Base Highway, uh, and that will allow for the expansion of industry up in Fredrickson and that part of Pierce County. Um, I think that's that's really critical. The other thing is that um, we need to look to attract the high tech sector here in Pierce County, and uh, one of the ways we can do that is is through um, through data farms, uh, through server farms, uh, and attracting them, finding some ways to ease back on some regulations as well as some fees that they would face in locating here in Pierce County. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carolyn.